Okay, look y'all, the idea here is not to 3D print everything in the world, but to strategically design and open source the building blocks. What makes a great building block is a design that leverages everyday materials to fit them together as easily as Legos and perform in an assembly like it was engineered to do so. These designs have to do one job well, and that's all. We can't have open source castles until we have open source concrete. What I'm doing here is just making some example parts. I'm trying to demonstrate how to open source a mechanical design, how to document the defining features of the design, and create sufficient descriptions that the broader tier of makers can generate 10,000 variations that suit 10,000 needs. We have to show the makers that the engineers are looking out for them, and the maker needs to show the engineers that taking the time to publish is worthwhile. For a mechanical engineer, the design is the easy part. This was 15 minutes. The hard part is completeness and documentation. We publish a complete set of documentation that describes the utility, the manufacturing constraints, the parameters which can change while the functionality holds steady. Someone out there is going to help us improve revision tracking, sorting of components, and visualization of the parts. I know that because we already did this 20 years ago with software designs. At this stage, people don't know what open source hardware even is. Over time, the software nerds out there will discover the value of these designs and they'll join in to help. They'll see how parametric models can change a whole CAD process into a drop down menu and they'll build out the menus. It's not about bells and whistles, it's about robustness and simplicity and patience. And it's about taking the same painstaking care in an open publication that you'd take in a patent filing. Monetization was never the point. Every good designer only wants enough money to be able to make more designs. That's the truth. Have a good day, y'all.